Paymo project management tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Paymo for project management. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're going to add your email on paymoapp.com and we're just going to add our email and start our free trial on Paymo. So Paymo is available for free as well as some paid versions. So you can opt for a paid version later on after you have used the basic free trial. So first off, you're going to be asked what kind of features you want in your Paymo application. Let's go with planning and keeping track of who's working on what. Or if you want, you can manage projects from start to finish. We're going to continue and you can start with a sample project. So they're going to provide you with many different categories of sample projects, depending on what kind of industry you're working on. You're going to select a sample project that is closest to the industry that you are working on. But let's just say we are doing a generic project. We're going to click on next step. You're going to add your name and then you're going to add a password for your account. After that, you're going to add your company name and then you're going Going to add the size of your company so let's just say it's two to ten people and then you're just going to click on start using paymo now you can continue with a trial and explore the paymo version or you can skip and explore on your own but you can see over here it's very easy to navigate through the paymo platform now you can see on the left you have a basic toolbar which you can collapse and elevate and first off you have your home page so this is going to be a my task page and then a team task and then a basic dashboard in a basic home page you get a dashboard alongside your own tasks and team tasks and this allows you to keep track of your own work as the individual as well as your team's work as well so on your basic dashboard you have different widgets that you can add or remove to monitor your different projects and the different amount of progress that has been made Below that, you have your client section. So over here, you can click on add client and then you can add a client name and add their project and add some accounting information over here as well. So what kind of payment are you expecting from this client for how much work? And then you can add them over here. Below that, you have your different projects. So each project can be linked to a specific client and all you need to do is click on add project over here. You're going to add project name. So let's just say we are doing a marketing and then you can add your client directly from this let's say our client is lisa and then you're going to add a project workflow so we're going to go with a default workflow and then we're going to add what kind of billing this is let's just say it's a flat rate project and the project price is $200 and then you can add a, a budget R or adjust it automatically but we're going to skip that and then you can add a project ID as well and then you can even add a color to denote this project so let's go with pink because I really like pink and we're going to save this project and you can see over here our new project has been created once you create a project you can see a general overview then you have your task section so over here you're going to be able to monitor all of your different tasks and you can add different lists you can do separate lists and within a list have your different tasks so let's say if you have the first list um, is a default list but let's say if marketing scrunchies we have ideas is our first list then let's create a new list called execution then we have accepted then you can add a list called needs improvement and then you can add your different tasks so you can add maybe the tasks that have already been executed you can add them in the execution section move them on when they are accepted by your client into the accepted section now after that you have your milestones and milestones are going to be denoted on a calendar so let's just say if this is october and on the november 9th you want a certain milestone to be accomplished so you want publish project and you can add the person responsible for this project and you can add the different associated lists so let's just say that the accepted uh, list needs to be fulfilled by the time that this date arrives so you're going to do that and then you're going to click on save milestone and you can even add a reminder if you want after that you have your timesheet so if you're working on billable hours and non-billable hours this is very helpful because it's going to be able to keep track of how much time you spend on this project after that you have your files discussions and activity feeds for your specific project and all of these things are provided for each project individually so if i go into my general project that i used as a sample you can see over here this is the overview for that project this is the milestones timesheets and obviously you can collapse these side columns over here when you're viewing your actual workspace and once you're familiar with the platform now after your general projects you have your people section and on the people section you can see your different users so you're going to add users or 
or your team into the add user section. And if you go and click on guests, you're going to add your different clients as guests. So client or guest permissions can be changed. And if you click over here, you can change the general default permissions for guests and you can add and remove some more different permissions if you want. Below that, you have your accounting tools. So your invoices, estimates, recurring expenses, and your general expenses can all be monitored from this section. And it's very simple for all of these things. And then you can add your logo. If your customer is the person you're sending your invoice to. Then you have your provider, you have your invoice number, the due date, delivery date, and then you can add the item. So let's just say you have item number one, two, four. You can add a description for your item and you can add an empty row. Then you can add another item, add your description, and then you're going to add the price per unit like so. And then you can see if you want to provide any discount, you can do that as well. Or let's just say we're providing a 5% discount like so. And then you can click on save invoice and you can see over here. Now your invoice has been created. Obviously you can print this. You can send it as a PDF, QuickBooks or zero. And if you click on send over here, you can send them via email as well. Now below that on the left, you have your estimates as well and your recurring expenses and your general expenses. After that, you have your time reports, time sheets, and time scheduling. All of these are features that you are going to be using, especially if you are on a billable hours kind of workflow, then you're going to really need these time sheets and time reports as well. And time reports can be added just as so. So you just click on add report. You can add the type of report you want, and you can add and save a time sheet alongside your time report, and you can add what kind of settings you want. So if you want to exclude non-billable tasks you can do that and you can add what kind of things you want to be displayed on your billable hours so if you want the project id description remaining project budget hours time cost time entry notes and user role seconds and you can add all of that stuff and click on save report and then all of these will be added and you can send them to your client as a general overview of the amount of time that you have spent on this project and the best part is that with these time reports it automatically creates a invoice of of how much time you spent and what the cost of this time will be. Now, this is how you use Paymo as a basic project manager. And if you click on this quick add section over here, you can add a separate project all together. So just like that, you add your own new project and you can start working on that without having to open up this section. After you get used to their icons, you can just navigate through this toolbar without having to open it up and you have more screen to actually monitor your workflow. Within your singular project, you have different kinds of sections where you're going to be monitoring monitoring everything. So you don't really have to go into the different sections. You can do everything directly from your project as well. Now, this was just a general overview. If we go into the pricing and sign up section, we can see over here that the free version includes unlimited projects and clients, different tasks view. You can create up to a hundred tasks. So you can't create any more than that. You also have three basic project templates you can use. You have their native time tracking time entries, and you can only do 250 time entries. So if you exceed that, then you can't do that on Paymo for free. Then you have three invoices, estimates, and expenses. So you can't add more than three on the free version. And then you have time reports that are also limited to three and you can do as many integrations as you want. But if you go for the small office version, you can do meta task board. You can do recurring tasks, unlimited tasks. You have unlimited entries. You have project templates. You have time reports. You have no limit on all of this stuff. Now on the business version, you have a onboarding and training function as well. You have a employee scheduling and workload manager. You also get Gantt charts. You get portfolio Gantt charts. You also have a employee leave management and priority support, online remote assistance, and a hundred gigabytes of storage. So the business version I do think is very, very reasonably priced in comparison to other uh, project management tools. You're going to find that Paymo allows you a lot more customization and it allows you a lot more detail without the Paymo platform being too hogged up in details, it still does the job very well and allows you not only to manage your projects, but manage your business as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to manage your projects using Paymo. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.